you have absolute control over only one thing and that is your thoughts this is the most significant and inspiring of all facts known to humans this ability to control your thoughts is the sole means by which you may control your own destiny if you fail to control your own mind you may be sure you will control nothing else your mind is your spiritual estate protect and use it with the care to which divine royalty is entitled you were given your willpower for this purpose unfortunately there is no legal protection against those who by design or through ignorance poison the minds of others with negative suggestion those with negative minds tried to convince Thomas A. Edison that he could not build a machine that would record and reproduce the human voice because they said no one else has ever produced such a machine Edison did not believe them he knew that the mind could produce anything the mind could conceive and believe that knowledge was the thing that lifted the great Edison above the common herd men with negative minds told F.W. Woolworth he would go broke trying to run a store on five and ten cent sales he did not believe them exercising his right to keep the negative suggestions of others out of his mind he piled up a fortune of more than a hundred million dollars doubting Thomas's scoffed scornfully when Henry Ford tried out his first crudely built automobile on the streets of Detroit some said the thing would never become practical others said no one would pay money for such a contraption Ford said I'll belt the earth with dependable motor cars and he did for the benefit of those seeking vast riches let it be remembered that practically the sole difference between Henry Ford and a majority of workers is this Ford had a mind and he controlled it the others have minds that they do not try to control mind control is the result of self-discipline and habit you either control your mind or it controls you there is no halfway compromise the most practical method for controlling your mind is the habit of keeping it busy with a definite purpose backed by a definite plan study the records of those who achieve noteworthy success and you will see that they have control over their own minds and that they exercise that control and direct it toward the attainment of definite objectives without this control success is not possible